say hello to our friend and gambling analyst, Claudia Bellafato. I mean, you try and find some sort of value with this Tampa team because you don't want to be laying north of 300 on the money line, run lines up to two and a half. Keep going back to that word of value. So if you wanted to just bet Bellinger to get a hit, you would be laying a lot, risking a lot to not win much back. So instead, bases, you get around plus 135, good value there. He's hitting 441 this month, just broke a 10 game hit streak. Averaging under two runs in the last 15 games. So I think that's a big reason we've seen this line move about 20 cents in the Padres' favor. Obviously better if you got on it early, but I would still lay the 140. So instead of them juicing the one hit, I love when they do this. They gave us two or more. So over one and a half, you get some good plus money here. One of the hottest hitters in baseball over the last 30 days, hitting 371 in that stretch, leading in home runs, tied for the most RBI. It's actually been more common for him to have two or more hits than one. He's had a hit in 20 of the last 22 games, and almost 64% of those games were multi-hit. I like the over in this game. Open eight and a half, down to eight. I'm going to take advantage of that movement. You look at Jose Urquidy. He was in, out of the rotation. Yep. It was injuries, or he just wasn't pitching well. So I'll fade him. And Joe Ryan looked really good to start the season. And then he started giving up home runs to everybody. 32 home runs in 29 games. Anytime any pitcher faces Seattle, you look to the over strikeout market. They're striking out at the second highest rate against righties. He's getting guys to chase. He's been striking out teams much more disciplined than Seattle. The offense has cooled off, especially last month, but Yandy stayed hot. Finished hitting 324 in that stretch, leading the offense as he has all season. So again, two bases or more means two singles, a double, goes yard, any of those we cash. And it's not fun for any rookie to face a player with an expected batting average and hard hit rate in the top 5% of all hitters, and that's what Reese Olsen is getting tonight. You can get 11 to 1 at Caesars, but you go to FanDuel, it's plus 850. So I have a feeling the rest of the books are going to catch up here. After All-Star break, Judge literally put the team on his back. Look at the slashes. His OPS was almost 650 points higher than the rest of the lineup. And we know it's going to be tough for him to recreate that. We should expect some negative regression from him. Not turn out as expected. Here she is, Claudia. You can't but they came back. They came back and I gave out the series. So that's all that matters. We're going to go under five and a half hits. It's actually cheaper than I thought we'd get. So I really like the value here. Pitched seven scoreless innings against the Guardians last month. Allowed only three hits. ERA just outside of the top 10 in the majors of his seven starts this season. Only two of them. He didn't cash this under. He allowed six. So he just missed it. That was to the Dodgers and Padres. We're talking about the Guardians, one of the worst offenses in baseball. So I feel good about the under here. Yeah, Bailey Over really starting to come into his own. Claudia, as always, thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.